Hi, I'm Luke Smolik with Benoit Renovations. Let's talk quality. I want to try to help you be clearer on what you can expect from contractors that come in to your home and do work, or possibly if you're buying a home, what you can look for. Today we're going to talk about fenestrations. No, fenestrations is not a dirty word. Fenestration is an opening in the surface or the arrangement or design of windows and doors in a building. So we're going to talk about windows and doors today. We'll start with doors. And I do not expect you to understand how it, fully if the door was set properly because you have no idea how many fasteners were used on this door when they set it. You have no idea if they shimmed it properly or if it's an exterior door, you have no idea if they caulked it properly. But I'm going to give you some pointers on what you can look at as a homeowner to try to determine if there was any quality at all when they set this door. So on a door, uh, basically a, a hinge door, you have two sides. You have the hinge side of the door and you have the non-hinge side of the door. We'll start with the hinge side. One of the most important things on, on, on your doors and windows is margin. And I'll use that word a lot, your margins. If you start on any side, you should have a perfect margin on the side. And of course, this, this side is a given because it's on the hinge side. Those are going to be perfect margins for the most part because that's the way it has to be. But do they have good margins across the top? The same, the same margin all the way. Do they have the same margin all the way down this other side? Okay? When it closes, is it, is it flush all the way down the whole side? And how does it close? Does it close that easy? This is a quality set door. Now let's take a look at the same door, uh, or a different door, I'm sorry, but, but on the non-hinge side. Okay, now we're looking at the non-hinge side of a single swing door, and let's see how it closes. And one thing you're going to notice, or want to notice, is that you have what's called door stops around this non-hinge side. It's basically exactly what it says. It's where the door stops. It's a piece of trim where the door stops to. Is, are, are the door, or is the door you're looking at coming tight to that door stop all the way up and down? It should be if it's set properly. That's another thing that you can look at. Let's look at a few more types of doors. Now let's take a look at a set of double doors. We're looking for the same things that we did with the single doors. Does it have a good margin? If it has a quarter inch in between the door to the top, it should continue to have that same margin all the way at the bottom to have a quarter inch at the bottom as well. Are they closing tight to the door stop? That's another way to find out if it's a quality set door. One other thing to, uh, to watch for on these doors that close together is are they closing on the same plane? You don't want two doors in the middle to come together meeting like, like this. You want them to be flush with each other all the way top and bottom. Okay? And that will determine and will help you to understand if that double door was set properly. The last door that I want to show you is what's called a pocket door. Now you're going to be looking for the same things that you did on the single and the double door, which is the margins and how they close together. But another very important part of a pocket door to make sure that it's set with quality is how do they open and close? Do they glide freely? Do they ride along the rail nice and smooth, which these do? Now let's see how they close. And again, you're looking for the same thing. You're looking for the margin where they're close together, and you're looking to see if they are closing in plane. Which here we use their handy dandy iPhone, and you can see it's flat on the surface, and as you ride it all the way down, it remains flat on the surface, which means they close in plane. And this is a quality set pocket door, and this is what you should expect. Now we move on to the other type of fenestration, the windows. Okay, now let's talk about windows. And again, what are we talking about? Margins, 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 as my camera lady gets her toes <laughs> eaten by, by my dog, Abby. So we'll just try to continue and see how long she can stand it. <laughs> margins. For instance, the left side of this window has got a margin of a half inch all the way top and bottom. And we can see it a little better maybe with an iPhone because it shows, cuts off on the glare. But I have a quarter inch here. It has the same quarter inch all the way top and bottom, okay? And you can, you can pretty much see that just by standing back and taking a look and seeing if it's a good margin. 
you should have the same margin on all three sides of your window if it's set properly. Now again, we don't know exactly to the full extent of, of how they set this window. Uh, did they caulk it properly? Did they counter flash it properly? Did they shim it if it requires shims? We're just trying to base this on things that you can see as a homeowner and know if it was done correctly. One of the main things on the window is the margin at the bottom. So if you close a window to just before <laughs> it closes, you can see that it's a perfect margin, okay? That is going to make it close correctly, and that is what's vital. Because when you have a good margin at the bottom, if, it's, if the sides are straight, when you, when you close up that, that window, it should lock that easily. There should be no hard locks to push, okay? Let's take a look at a casement window. Now this casement window is a little bit small, but it's big enough to show you uh, the points you need to notice about a quality set window. Remove the screen. Now, when you open and close this casement window, again, you want to notice, does it glide freely, okay? And then you're really going to, again, pay attention to those margins of when it closes. When you close that window, is it the same reveal all the way up and down there because what that is going to do is it's really going to ensure that you can lock that window very easily without a lot of muscle. So if we close it, it locks that easily, then that's the way it should be set. I'm Luke Smolik. I'm with Benoit Renovations. And I hope that this helped you to understand what you need to look for as a homeowner on windows and doors. Today in this video we're going to talk about fenestrations. No, fenestrations is not a dirty word. Fenestrations are openings to the exterior of windows and doors. That's not right.